In this video, you're going to learn how to edit the custom dictionary within the Microsoft Office products. I'm going to walk you through using the feature within Word, but the steps also work in Excel and PowerPoint. The spell check feature compares the words within your documents with the words within the main Office dictionary. This dictionary contains the most common words, but it may not contain the proper names, technical terms, acronyms, or capitalizations that you use on a regular basis. To address this issue, you can add words and capitalizations to a custom dictionary to prevent the spell check feature from flagging them as misspelled. The custom dictionary applies to Office 2016 and like I said, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and also Outlook. But keep in mind the steps may vary just a little bit. If you look below, there will be a link for the instructions for editing the custom dictionary in Word. So let's go ahead and get started. Now in order to access the custom dictionary, what you need to do is you need to go to the backstage. So we're going to navigate to the File tab and click on it. Once you click on the File tab, it's going to take you to Backstage. And from here, we're going to go to the bottom almost where it says Options and click on Options. This is going to take you into the Word Options dialog box and this is where all the options are set for within Word. Now from here, what we want to do is in the left column, go down to Proofing and click on Proofing. Proofing is going to take you in where you can change any of the settings for, just like it says, proofing your document. Once we click on Proofing, you can see we've got options for autocorrect, um, correct spell checking in Microsoft Office programs, when we wanted to do the correcting of spelling and grammar within Word. And if we scroll down a little bit further, we've got exceptions for specifically within this document, or we can tell it other documents we have open or all new documents we want to apply the exceptions to. But what we're going to focus on right now is the custom dictionary. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back up and click on custom dictionaries. Now this is within the when correcting spelling in Microsoft Office program section. So when you click on the custom dictionaries box, it's going to take you into the custom dictionaries dialog box. And what you want to do at this point is select which dictionary you want to customize. So for this example, I'm going to use the Roaming Custom Dictionary, which is the default. So I'm going to highlight it. And now because I want to edit words within the list, I would click Edit Word List. Once I click Edit Word List, it's going to open up the Roaming Custom Dictionary and it's going to show me the list of words. Now I can scroll through the list here. And if there's a word I no longer want on the list, I could highlight it and click the delete button. I can also add words by going to the words area and typing in the word I wish to add. For instance, if I've got a custom word such as the name of my business, I could add that to the dictionary so it doesn't stop on it anytime I do a spell check or put that red squiggly line under it to tell me it's misspelled. So you would type in the word you wish to add, click the add button, and now you can see it's been added to the dictionary under the dictionary list. And I could continue adding additional words to the dictionary that I want to use. Now one thing you want to be very careful of when you're adding custom words to the dictionary is if there are words that are spelled similar and you type them in, if you're spelling a word, say for instance, um, Vicky. My name is Vicky, so it's V-I-C-K-Y. So I've added that to my dictionary. However, there could be names I'm typing in for V-I-C-K-I, and if I inadvertently use V-I-C-K-Y for a name that should end in I, it's not going to stop it when it's doing the spell check and tell me that that's incorrect. So you want to be very specific on the words you add. Once you've added the words to the custom dictionary, click OK. It'll take you back out to the custom dictionaries list and from here we would click OK again. And then we're at the word options, we would click OK one more time and it would add it to the dictionary. And I don't know if you noticed it, but it took the squiggly line out of under VLB Tech Ed. So remember, we go to File for the Backstage, Options. We're going to go to Proofing and from proofing, we go to the when correcting spelling in Microsoft Office programs and click custom dictionaries. From here, we want to check which dictionary we want to update. And for this one, I had used the Roman custom dictionary. And then we click edit word list to edit the words within the dictionary. So now if I come back out to this list, just to show you 
again how it works. If I want to remove my company name, I would highlight it from within the list, click the delete button, say OK, click OK again, and one more time. And now you can see it put the squiggly line back under VLB Tech Ed. If you like this video, please let me know and also subscribe to my channel for more videos on office products. Thank you.